Hey there guys, it's Anthony here from Cutting Edge Guitar. In today's video, I want to do another advice and motivation video for you. And what I want to be talking about today is music theory and why you shouldn't be afraid of it. So, knowledge is power. We all know that and we can apply that really to music theory. So the fact of the matter is, music theory can only serve to make your playing better. The more you know about it, that isn't going to make you a worse guitar player. It's going to make you a better guitar player. So think about whatever it is that you do for a living. Would you rather know more about that subject or less about that subject? Is it going to make you better at that job if you know more about it? Or is it going to make you worse at that job? It's quite simple really, isn't it? So with playing your music, playing your guitar, the thing is, uh, what a lot of people are afraid of is if they learn too much theory, it's going to kill things like their feel or their musicality. And that is a, I don't want to say stupid, but it is perhaps a misguided way of looking at things and thinking about things. So realistically, all theory is, is the names for things that sound good. Okay, so... Let's say um, knowing the uh, a major scale and the modes of the major scale. All it is is giving those different sounds a name, okay? And uh, when you know the name of those things and you know where they live on your fretboard and you know what chords that they can be associated with and all that sort of thing, it gives you more control over the music. The more control that you have over music, it's going to make you a better writer, it's going to make you a better improviser, and generally a better musician. Let's say if you want to be somebody who's a session type player, you know, you need to have a conversation with people who don't play the guitar. Knowing some theory is going to help you in that regard. Um, if you're just a hobbying guitar player, you'll probably want to learn somebody's guitar solos at some point. Getting into the mindset of a great guitar player will help you understand why they chose the notes that they chose, and then that will empower you to be able to choose similar notes at a later date when you're improvising or you want to do your own thing. So the advice aspect of this video is definitely go and learn some theory. Um, there are multiple websites, there are guitar teachers out there, find a good one who knows their theory and they can help you with that sort of thing. There's all sorts of websites, there's, you know, there's YouTube, there's, there's so many ways that you can learn music theory these days. Go and learn it and uh, apply those things to your music. You don't have to use in your solos every single bit of theory you ever learn. The more you know, the more control you have, the more power you have, you don't have to use it all, all of the time. Okay, so that's my advice. The motivational side of this, a lot of guitar players get very scared almost of the amount of theory that's out there. It seems like such a gargantuan subject that you can be very put off by theory because you can think, I just don't know that I'm going to ever have the time to learn all of this and how do I put it all together? It's going to be so hard. What I would say is that there's actually... You don't need tons of theory. You just need the bits of theory that's going to make your music good. Okay, so theory is like an ocean. You know, you can just start swimming around and learn the bits and bobs that you need. The further you go on, the more it starts to make sense. When you can start applying those theory concepts, then you start having some fun with it and then you'll see the benefit. So when you start having some fun, that's when you go, right, okay, I understand this theory stuff now. Um, so there we go. That's my that's my advice and motivation for this video. Um, if you've liked the video, please give it a like and share it to some guitar players that might find this useful. Um, if you've enjoyed it, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you get another notification when I do one of these. I hope these videos are inspiring you to go and pick up your guitars and have fun with them. So uh, for now, take care, guys, and I'll look forward to seeing you in another video.